Go ahead, sir. Hi, good morning, everybody. So, as I explained, that this is for the new first spectroscope in this machine. I'll just go through the machine, what other things are there currently. So, if you see the front screen over here, you have connection for the hub where you can connect the six sensors. So, advantage again uh, with this machine is that you can connect six sensors at a time on a beam. So depending on the requirement like cerebral, gut, or all these things, you can connect all the sensors in the region. Okay. Here there are connections, uh, marks where you can do the adjustment while you are doing. Once I am switching on, I will show you that. This is for the alarm silence. This one is for the event marker. This is to come on the main screen if, in case you are doing any other uh, jobs on that. This is for the acceptance of whatever uh, marks you are doing. This is right. This is for the setting of the baseline. Again, there is uh, one advantage in this machine is that you don't need a baseline to start the readings. The moment you connect the sensor, the machine starts the reading. And then this is for the on-off switch. So you will see this one. Over here you can see, just for your information, there is the mark over here. And then same mark is there on the machine. So we will just uh, do the marking to marking connection. So you can see that I can just push it in. If you have to remove, there is a problem like this. So you just press it and remove it. That's it. You can see it's moving like this. Very simple connection. So this is going to the hub where we are connecting. Again, as I spoke to that, uh, this hub is having six channel connection. And these channels can be switched anywhere. It's not compulsory that you have to fix uh, anywhere or anything. It's open, so you can switch anywhere, wherever you want. You see the color coding on the signal processors. And the connection for this is same as I have shown over here, the white to white connection, arrow to arrow. I'll just push it and put it in there. That's it. The connection is done. Okay. If you move down, you'll see that this is something called a signal processor. Ideally, this monitor what you're seeing is just a monitor. The main heart of machine is this. This is called a signal processor. The signal processor again have connection of the sensors. What we are using. This is a disposable sensor. We have two types of sensor. One is from 0 to 40 kg and 40 and above. So you don't have to have multiple uh, sensors depending on the age. Only one sensor is sufficient for you from 0 to 40 kg. Again, here also you can see marking to marking, and then we'll just put it in marking to marking connection. That's it. So your sensor is connected. Let's go to the monitor itself. Okay, the rear side there, there is nothing much. Only if you see here, there is a power connection. You just put the power over here. That's it. Again, coming back to the technology, if I just want to show you, this is called as a sensor what we are using so you can see that there are two leds and two detectors over here mm -hmm. that is where you have a wider area of uh, measurement for the baby and the accuracy is far more so there are uh, things which uh, the r d has done and they have come up with the uh, technology where you have more accuracy using these sensors so let's switch on the machine so once the machine is switched on it will do its own self-test Here you can see something called as presets. Now these presets are more useful uh, or it being used in hospital by depending on the different different doctors who are using. So every doctor has his own uh, uh, I mean work style. So depending on work style we can make it that some doctors want alarm, some don't want alarm, some want baseline, some don't want baseline. So it's depending on the doctor's usage we can have 12 presets over here. So if we just make it as a main. So this is something called a setting screen. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so on this setting screen, you can see setting, presets, case, and system. So if I go over here on the setting screen, I'm using this one to go down. Mm -hmm. So you can see I'm there on my first channel. These are six channels which I have mentioned in the hub yes, that we have. Okay. And each channel has its own different color coding. Mm -hmm. Each color coding is similar to what we have the signal processor. So both of them are same. So currently what we are using is green and uh, orange. So let me just go to the green one. So that we have the similar one. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is blank. So now what we are doing is sensor type we are going to decide it. So you can see there are different different types what we can make it over here, like head, arms, torso, legs, depending on the patient's uh, condition, and even the yeah. clinical or decision by the doctor where, where he wants to make it. Mm -hmm. So if I press on head, you can see that we have again things over here. Like we have left cerebral, right cerebral, left ear, right ear, and forehead. Mm -hmm. Now, what we have seen is, especially during the most premature babies, where we have very less weight of 400 grams or less than 400 grams, perhaps we will not be able to put two sensors on the cerebral. So that's where we always prefer to have a forehead. So yes. we have it on the forehead. So let's take it as forehead. Suppose we are connecting to a yes. So you can see that's already defined as forehead. Okay. 
So now again, but we can change the name, right? You can change. You can change whatever you can, you can. want. Cerebral, select, for example. Yeah. You, if you have selected over here as head, you have all these options. So either of the option you can have it. No problem. But the name should be always forehead. F H. Yeah, F H. You cannot you change it. Show it F H. No, okay. you can change it if you want to change the side, like left cerebral, right cerebral. Oh, I see. Okay. You can do that. Okay. So let's keep it as forehead only right now. Okay. For the demo purpose. Then you can see that. Uh, the other one is somatic. You will do. Yeah, we can do somatic also. Mm. Let's. Uh, I'll just go finish this yes. one. Yes. So if you'll see over here the second one, the sensor type. So here again, one thing, one more thing we have is we have even SPO2 connection option also over here. Currently for the demo, I'm not, I don't have that sensor with me, but you can also connect the SPO2. So if I'm going over here, it will ask me whether you are connecting. Sorry. So let's say the. Uh... Not arm, um, not, yeah, we did the head, right? Yeah, we did the head, okay. So here you can have sensor type because I'm not connected to uh, SPO2 mm -hmm. sensor, you can also get an SPO2 sensor option. Here. Okay. Now again, it's mentioning something third as So if we have SPO2 sensor, does it cal calculate the oxygen consumption rate? It's maybe? normal SPO2 what we're using, so that is... But it does not calculate, sensor. we have to calculate. No, no, it will calculate the SPO2, it will give you the SPO2 calculation. No, give you SPO2, it will give you the nearest... Yes, uh, both. RSO2, yes, yes, does it both. give the difference between them? Difference means the technology is like total difference. That will have hundred percent. No, no, there will be no number. We call the difference, or there will no, be there, number. There, there will be, be no difference. number. Okay. Let me just show you the numbers between SPO2 yes, and uh, yes, the yes. nearest. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then you can see something over here is baseline off. So we usually keep it off, but depending on the clinical requirement, some doctors say that okay, I want this specific as a baseline, like 65, 60, depending on your experience. 50. Yeah, that depends, and you can make it permanent over here, mm -hmm. or we can select it later on also. Okay. So okay. I'll show it once we are done. And so you just one. enter, enter, and then you can enter change. Enter, and you can change. You can change, you can change. whatever figure you want. You can I change. See. It. Okay. okay. And then down, you can see that we have alarm limit. So I'll not push right now. Yes. On the okay. Alarm limit, so we'll okay. like that only. Fine. Then now next, you are telling that we want to select the Cerebr uh, the uh, somatic. So let's somatic. say. Somatic. Let's go. Customer. Because so, huh? you need abdomen, right? Yeah. So you don't have abdomen. No abdomen. You go custom then. You will make it to custom. Okay. Fine. Yeah. And you can see epigastric, for example. You epigastric. What do you want? Epigastric. E? Epigastric. Okay. Yeah. P. E. E. I. I. J. That's all. J or G? G, sorry. G. Okay, fine. So let's let's go down and save it. So you have your happy. Epi. So we have already set it. Let's go back now. These some things, presets, what I said you, we can also define the presets in the initial when I said the doctor wants, you can set the settings of the machine. Okay. Here you have case, in case you have some patient ID or something, you can define the patient ID okay. also over here. Yeah. And this is for the system, mostly this is for the biomedical and sometimes it's for you also. Like if you want to, uh, suppose, uh, lower the volume, sometimes you don't need okay. the higher volume, so you can adjust the volume and other things. Okay. Mm, okay. So those things settings are there, so yeah. it's not okay. uh, nothing related to it. So let's go back over here. And when I want to go to back, I'll go to back screen now. Okay. So now you can see over here. So this is the back screen. Yeah, yeah. You can see over here your green is showing femur head and this is showing epic, whatever okay. we have defined. Mm -hmm. This is Anup, can I be your can you be my patient for for the time being? Temporarily, we'll just connect it. Yeah. Okay. So, so you see, the moment we have connected, you have the readings over here. Yeah, you two zones. We need to make the baselines. Yeah. So two channels there. Two channels are there. So we're okay. supposing this is uh, somatic and this is cerebral. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So now, what I have to do is now maybe I'm here to make a baseline. Now I am seeing that okay, my patient is stable. I want to create a baseline. So I'll just click over here. It will ask me whether you are okay with the baselines. So I'll say yes. So you see, my baselines are already selected. Okay. Okay. And now, after the baseline is selected, the machine sets an alarm of 25% for your baseline. Yes. So you can see in the center now. Depending okay. on whatever is baseline, it has already by default selected okay. the alarm. But I can change it. You can Because I like it to be like 45. Yeah, you can change it. That you can change. No issues. Okay, that's okay. all. Huh? So that's all. Now on the screen, if you'll see, here you can see 30 minutes over here. I know it's yeah. a little small, but it's okay, you can see 30 minutes. I can well, change you can, that. You can change it. Yeah, okay. screen uh, size I can change, like up to 24 hours I can go. Okay. So 12 hours. So how you are changing? By using this. Okay. So now it's 24 hours. Okay. So if you are it's coming compressed. after 24 hours, you can, you can. in one screen I can see what yes. the situation yes. is. Yes, yes. Okay. 
I don't have to go here in this. Yes, yes. Just single screen, you can yeah. have the analysis of 24 And you hours. extend it from here. Okay, yeah. I can see. So right now I'll make it 15 minutes. Because and how you came to this? This is the, the home. Yeah, this is the home screen. Yeah. This is the home screen. So you can see I've made it 15 minutes. Yeah. So you can yeah. see the changes. See the changes yeah. now, Great. One more thing now. Uh, if suppose you are not there, a nurse is there, she finds that, okay, some event is there which I need to show to the doctor. Yeah. What she'll do, she'll just click over here once. So once this is clicked over here, an event is marked and you can see A over here. Mm -hmm. Can you see a small A? Yeah. This A. So there is one event that has been stored in the machine already. Okay. So maybe uh, within eight hours she is uh, mentioning like A, B, C, D. Ten, so eight, from eight, this? Nine. This is the event marker. This one. Okay. Okay. Now how, I do, how do I retrieve those events? Okay. So you are coming for the round world to okay. see the event. So I'll just keep pressing this for a couple of seconds and you can see I have already all the events here. Oh, okay, so event so A, event B, and yeah, yeah. So six events, six channels, whatever events has happened, yes. you have on okay. a single screen. Okay. So you have two uh, advantages again within 24 hours. Whatever has happened with single screen, you can see that. And we have the events. And the events also you have. So both things sure. you have. Okay. So I'm just trying to see clinically how it can be. Yes, yes, here. definitely. So for, once you are here, we want to go back to the main screen. So I'll just press this to go to the main screen. I see. Okay. That's it. I'm That's all. That's it, sir. It's very simple to use. Yeah. And do we need to uh, clean the grease on the head or sweating? Yes, of course, of course. We have to okay. clean the screen, skin of the baby, make it as much as sure. possible. Done? Yeah, done. That's it. Thank you very much. That's I appreciate it. it.